Okay, uh, today we're going to learn how to do uh, several things. Uh, we're going to learn how to create a QR code right inside of InDesign. We're going to learn how to make a template for a business card. And we're also going to learn how to use the content collector and the content placer tool. All right, well, I made this little card here. Here's the QR code. Uh, let me show you how I made the QR code. Well, let's just move this out of the way. Well, you first you have to draw a box the size that you want your QR code to be. So I'll just draw a little box here, no special size. Select your box. Go up to uh, Object. Generate QR code. And there's several ones you can use. You can create a plain text, a text message. We'll send a text message. To, uh, send an email create a business card uh, we're gonna use a web hyperlink so uh, for just for example I'm gonna use this my website uh, you can change the color to whatever you like now let's keep it black for now uh, say okay and it generates the code and this QR code this really is a 10-day trial from uh, lynda.com since I'm a partner I have all these links I can use. So if you do scan this, you can get a 10-day trial. Uh, next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a template where we can put this business card. This is a business card size. We're going to put 12 of them on a page so that we can print them out later and cut them up and have multiple copies. Well, let's do that on the master page. Let's go to my pages panel, go to a master. <clears throat> now the margins are a quarter of an inch, so this is important. You need to do a quarter of an inch. Uh, let's put in our guides. So we can do that very quickly by going to layout, create guides. Okay, uh, what do we want? Well, first of all, let's get rid of the gutters. We don't need any gutters. Uh, we want it to fit it in between the margins. All right, how many rows do we need? Uh, four, I believe. That looks good. Columns are going to be three. So now each of these little boxes is going to be two by three and a half. That's what happens automatically when you make your margins a quarter of an inch on an eight and a half by 11 page. So now I'll say, okay, uh, now the next thing I want is I want to have little crop marks to help me trim this later. So we're going to open up the script panel. I have it already over here. Otherwise you'll find it by going to uh, Window, uh, Utilities, Scripts. And one of the built-in scripts that Adobe gives you is under the uh, Samples. And I'm using the JavaScript. JavaScript scripts are good on either Mac or PC. Uh, let's double. Oh, first of all, we have to draw something. So I'm going to draw. I'm going to make just a corner crop marks. Double click the uh, script. And let's put in our specifications. Uh, six points is a little too short for me. Uh, I'm going to put 18 points, which is a quarter of an inch. Now this is going to be uh, go right to the edge of the page. So these are going to probably get cut off anyway when we print it. Uh, offset is okay. Stroke weight, let's make it a little heavier, half a point. Uh, registration marks we don't need. And I'm going to say, well in this case there's only one object, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and I'll say OK. And this put them in for me. Now we can get rid of the original box that we drew. If you look at your layer panel, uh, this script also creates a layer for you. It automatically calls it My Crops. And I'll put this all the way on the top. And uh, I'm going to turn off the guides temporarily so you can see them better. So I'll just do control colon to temporarily hide the guides and it put them in the corners. 
Now, in order to make the rest of the crop marks, I think the easiest way is just to do a step and repeat. So I'm going to select this crop mark on the top. Shift click the one on the bottom. Go to edit, step and repeat. What do we need? We need, well, first of all, uh, we want to offset them three and a half inches. How many do we need? Uh, we need, that's it. We need two altogether. So we have the beginning and the end, and now we put in the two middle ones. Uh, let's do that again for these other uh, crop marks. So, oops, select these two. Oops, sorry about that. Here we go. Uh, do our step and repeat again. Edit, step and repeat. Uh, now we're going the other way. This is going to be a two inch vertical offset. Horizontal is going to be zero. And we need one more, three that way. And I'll say OK. And there we go. So now I'll turn my guides back on. And there you go. So this is our master page. Let's go back to our document page. So this I already created and I like to make a frame. It makes it easier to see what we're doing. And I put the frame, the red, well this frame here is really black. I put that on its own layer so that when I uh, print it, I can just turn it off because we don't want the frame there when we print it. But while we're working, it's easy, makes your life a little bit easier to see what's going on. So now, instead of doing a simple step and repeat, uh, we're going to do one little thing. Uh, we're going to, well, we can use, we can do this two ways, actually. I can select this and I can go to edit, place and link. This has been around for a little while. Uh, this is going to open up the content grabber anyway. So here we go. Here's our content grabber. It did grab it. Uh, or we can just go right to the grabber. So let me let me undo that actually. You can go right over here to the content collector tool. Then select what you want to uh, collect. And now it comes in here. And then now what we can do, uh, we can switch to the a content placer tool. Now the important thing is we want to create a link. Now over here we can uh, decide how we want to place it in. This one will just place it in once and then take it out of what they call the conveyor. Uh, this one will place it and keep it in the conveyor as they call it so you can place it multiple times. And this is if you had multiple things, this would place it and then go to the next. So we want to do it multiple times. So I'm going to click this middle one. So now I'll do the vertical ones over here. Just click that one and it fits very nicely right where it should. And I'm going to put one over here too. You'll see why in a minute. Uh, now for the rest of them, well, you could continue doing this if you like. It's not too bad. Or you can close this, and then you can just do a step and repeat again if you like. So let's try it that way. First of all, let me lock my crop marks. I don't want to accidentally copy those. The frames I do want to copy. I'll select these, edit, step and repeat. This is zero, horizontal, three and a half, copies, two, and I'll say OK. Uh, then we just have to do this one too up here. This one we could, you could just do your regular alt, click and drag if you like. Drag out a copy. So now we have all our cards on our page. And now notice, um, even the text have these little links here. So that means if I were to change the text in one of these, they would all change. 
So watch this. If you decide, well, you don't want the number 10, you want to type in the word 10, I can just type 10. Let me zoom out. Now take a look. You can see all these little warning signs here. And you could update them one by one, but that would take too long. Uh, go to your links panel, like so. And you could flip this closed. And you could update the whole group in one shot by selecting it over here. And click the update all instances. And now you'll see the all change to the word 10. So whatever change you make in the source, this first one was our source, the rest of your cards will update because we use this conveyor here. And we clicked create link. All right, uh, let me turn off the guides for a moment. So there we go. So now we have all our guides here. And we see our crop marks. Get that out of the way. So now the problem is uh, when we print this, depending on your printer, uh, sometimes you may not be able to print close to the edge and you may lose these crop marks. So it might be a better idea to have another version of this where maybe there's only like eight or ten on the page. So uh, we can also take advantage of this uh, link behavior uh, when we make a new page. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. Uh, you know we do have alternate layouts. You could do that and then modify it, but it's sort of like the same work anyway. So I think in this case, it'll probably be easier just to create a new page. So I'll go to my Pages panel. Uh, click create new page now this time I'm going to uh, ch make a change here I'm going to go to my page tool on the toolbox and let's modify this to make it vertical there we go and then we're just going to have to make a new um, master page for this so let's make a new master page new master uh, don't base it on anything this is going to be uh, vertical say okay there we go now we're starting from uh oh we're starting from scratch again uh, let's put in our guide our margins uh, let me turn on the guides again control colon so now this one uh, we have to set our margins correctly I think would make your life easier so we're going to put um, five cards vertically so five times two is ten the page is eleven inches tall so that means we need a half inch margin on top and bottom so I have the little link unchecked so I can do these separately so I'll do 0.5 for the top 0.5 for the bottom so if you wanted to do eight instead, that would be eight inches, four times two. 11 minus eight is three, so you would need an inch and a half on the top and the bottom, but we're gonna do uh, 10. Now left and right, so the business card is three and a half inches. Three and a half inches twice is seven. Eight and a half minus seven is one and a half. So we need a left and the right is three quarters. So I bet you didn't think there was going to be any math on this, but there is. Okay, and that's good. Let's say okay, and now let's create our guides again. Layout, create guides. Again, we do not want any gutter. Here we go. Uh, you want to fit in the margins. So how many rows do we need? we need five rows there we go columns will be two columns so this will split it right down the middle and i'll say okay and then we just need to make our crop marks again 
So do it the same way. Let's unlock the crop marks layer. And now all we have to do is uh, copy some cards from our first page to our second page. Oh, first of all, uh, we have to apply the master. Yes, use master page size. There we go. And we can just go back to our page one. And we will just grab a whole bunch of these. You don't want to use the first one because this is the source. You want to make sure you grab the ones that have the little links throughout. So I'll just do a copy, paste, just move them up into position. And then we just have to copy the bottom two here. Alt click and drag, hold down the shift. And there you go. So these, you can see these are also linked. So whatever I do to this first one, this is the one that counts. If I make a change here, the rest of them will update. Once we go to our links panel, see we have a whole bunch of little road signs there. Same thing over here. We can just go to our links panel. Here we go. 21. Click the update. And there you go. So now they're all updated. So if ever you have to make a change, you don't have to change it and then paste them in again. All you have to do is use this technique. And all you have to do is change one and then update the rest. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you like, you can scan that QR code and you can get a 10-day free trial to Linda. So thank you and see you again. Bye-bye.